Hey, I wanted to take a minute to go over the diagram of uh, Simple Blaster OS. I got some comments back on the original version that some of the wire connections in the original diagram were not correct, and it's true. So I updated the uh, diagram. I also made uh, a chart and a listing of the signal wires and where they go. So I'll just walk through this again. Um, the whole thing is powered by a 9 volt battery. I'm using an Arduino Nano every but I think uh, a lot of our Arduino boards will probably work with this. There's a DF Player Mini. There's also a speaker. There's a 64 by 32 display for the um, scope, 128 by 32 display for the ammo bar, and then addressable LEDs um, for the lights when you press the fire button. I'm using WS2812Bs, but anything that's addressable or Adafruits, NeoPixels, uh, any addressable LEDs should work. So, a couple things about power. Um, it's all powered by a 9 volt battery that comes in for the uh, power input on the every board. The DF Player Mini, the scope display, the ammo bar, they all get powered by 3 volts. So, you'll see the 3 volt lead coming and connecting up to each of those on their input for power. And then they're all, con everything is connected to a common ground. Um, on the DF Player Mini, I'm using serial communications to control playback of the files. So you'll see two connections they go to, and all the pins over here are off of the, Etna, uh, the Nano Every board. So TX pin 1, TX pin 2. And it's weird because the TX on the Every goes to the RX on the DF Player Mini. The RX on the Every goes to the TX on the DF player. Then when you come over to the scope display, the you've got the common, you've got your five, excuse me, your three volts, and then you've got the data pin, SEL, excuse me, you got the clock pin, SEL that's gonna go to A5. You got the data pin that's gonna go to A4. On the ammo display, the 128 by 32, similar setup, three volt power, ground, clock pin goes to D9, data pin goes to D10, signal wire from the NeoPixels, that's gonna go to pin 11. Then there's also the two, um, the, the two buttons, the momentary press buttons. One is for fire, that goes to D8. The mode chain button goes to D3. And you can change those up in the code if you need to because you want to use a different board or it has a different pinout. But this is the pinout for the components that I used. I also want to take a minute to go over the code and just show where a couple of key settings are. I'm not going to go over everything, but just at least some of the variables that you may want to change. So I've tried to add comments in, and this is, I'm doing a screen share off the GitHub, and the repository address is going to be in the description below in case you want to just pull it down. And then it's also an easier way to track any comments or any issues if anybody has any. But up at the top, we're calling all the libraries. Um, I think the, the, the biggest key right here is the DF Player Mini um, Fast. That is working for all of the DF Player boards that I have gotten off of Amazon now, but I have had problems as the manufacturers change chips. So if you're having problems with the playback, reach out, but you know, that's something definitely to think about. Um, serial communications, pins two, pin one, receive, transmit, it's pretty standard. And then you get down here and you get to the ammo display, the 128 by 32. Uh, the ammo display pins are D9 and D10. Uh, clock is 9, data is 10. The 64 by 32 scope animation is on pins uh, A4 and A5. The fire button is on pin 8. The mode change button is on pin 3. And then the number of LEDs is nine and the signal pin for the LEDs is pin 11. So if you, you know, you can always change these rounds if you wanna use a different board or change something else. The other thing I would say is the ammo count is set for 50. If you wanted to change that, 
you know, you could change this number and then it would count down for a different number. Say you're using a, something, uh, this is designed for an E11 and really the 50 was just arbitrary. So whatever you wanted to put in there, it'll count down from that. But essentially, you know, you set up the libraries, you set up the default variables, and then we go into the setup loop. It initializes the DF player. It draws the uh, scope animation initially. It sets up the ammo bars on the um, ammo display, the 50. And then from there, you're ready to go through it. And it's reading the check to see if the fire button has been pushed. And then it starts to loop through to make sure what state is in for uh, the mode change button and counting down every time that you press the uh, fire button. So again, I'm not gonna go over everything, but the other thing, and this is something I'm probably gonna need to test down here at the bottom. I'm using, well, actually, let me just scroll back up to the top and just show this one more time. So I'm calling Adafruit NeoPixel, I'm using their library, and then down here at the bottom, I'm using Color Wipe. And that's what's making the animation when you push the button where it you know, kind of slides left to right and shows either blue or for stun or red for fire. And let me find where I have it for where you hit the fire button. These right here are all just the animations for the, um, the ammo bar as it cuts down, just drawing the boxes and then just counting down. I think the comments on those subroutines are pretty good, but let me find where the actual fire button is and where it actually calls the colors. Okay, here we go. So when you press the uh, button and it's in the fire mode, then it's going to do the color wipe and then that's where you're going to get your uh, red. Or if you're doing it for stun, then it's going to do the color wipe and you're going to get it for blue. So I just wanted to point that out. But yeah, that's the, the basic idea for the code. Um, everything should be working with different DF players. Uh, the pinout should all be correct. So I'm hoping this works for everybody. If not, again, you know, send me, uh, uh, you can reach out through CC Hobby Fun or you can um, go on to GitHub and post a comment up there. And I'm hoping this will work for everybody. Thanks again for your support.